Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a girly pop mother, everything gay and fun and silly uh, tier list for Reverse 99. Basically, I feel like this community is amazing and fun and my Discord and everyone there is a lot of, like, they're really warm, kind people. And I came across this idea for a tier list based on Ishi Girly Pop. So we're going to go through all of the characters in Reverse 99. This is going to be a long video. I don't know. Get a drink, get some tea, get dinner, put it on the background while you clean. But we're going to be asking the most important question with Reverse 99. Are our favorite characters mother? Are they girly pop? Are they just okay? Meaning like they're on the way? Or are they cute? Or just not it? Now, this is incredibly biased. This is incredibly one-sided, but also I'm gonna be using my experience playing the game and loving these characters to basically just have some fun. Mother, <laughs> mother, hello. We want mother, we want Sarah Michelle Gellar. We, want, we need Sigourney Weaver. We're talking mother, not just like people throw it around lightly. We're talking female role models, icons, leaders, mothers, and girly pop. Is she girly pop? I mean, is she serving? Is she doing the good work? Is she delivering the good news to other people? Is she serving? Next is okay. Now that just means maybe she's on the way. Maybe she's not quite there yet, there's something missing, but she might be girly pop, just not yet. Cute is a bit of a side eye. I have to give full credit to this wonderful YouTuber. I'm gonna credit their channel in the description, but they had this amazing channel where they just go through all the Pokemon types and say, are they girly pop? This is completely where I was like, you know what? That looks like so much fun. I don't know if they're the first person to do this, but I feel like for this type of game that's rather more serious, I find it even more campy to do this. <laughs> so I don't know. And then the last tier is not it. She's just not it, or they're not. They're just not it. We're gonna do all characters. Some of them will be biased. Some of them will not be. But let's get let's get started. Our first character, Sonetto. Sonetto is the icon of the game. She's power she's grace she serves face and she's really quite fun she's not a lot of let's be real she's not that much fun but she takes care of us she leads us she protects us she is quite literally the definition of mother we have our first mother sonetto fight me Honestly, I want to hear your questions, comments, and everything else, okay? Let's get going. Next up, we have Nick Bottoms. Nick Bottoms, I mean, look, have they been in the story? Do they contribute to much teams or many gameplay styles? Not really. Not it. I'm sorry, Nick. Just not it. The Fool. Now, The Fool... She's cute, she's fun, but she's actually better than cute. Nick, like, the fool is, can you just imagine, imagine a night out. Who do you wanna go with? You wanna go with Nick Bottoms? You wanna go to the, you wanna go with the fool? You wanna go with the fool, because the, the fool, she's girly pop. She's there, she's having fun. She's corroding your enemies. They're rude to you, they're mean to you. She's on there. The fool's got you covered. Next up, we have La Source. The source is, you know, she's cute, um, literal child, so a bit uncomfortable with um, how they dress her, but she's really helpful. She's very strong. No, she's strong. <laughs> she's a strong healer, um, and she's great for early game. And other than that, she's not giving much else. She's giving whiny child and that's enough for me to put her in. She's cute and that's about it. Next up, we have Alien T. Now, Alien T, if you haven't done their anecdote yet, you would know that Alien T, they're girly pop. They are girly pop th to the core. Their jokes, their humor, their family and their lifestyle and their story. It's just the girly pop spirit that we want the girly pop spirit that we need, the girly pop spirit of just 
tell some jokes, find your family, and then stay strong, make those friends, make those connections. Not mother, no, no, no. But she's girly pop. Next up, we've got Leilani. Now Leilani, the queen of languages. She'll say hello to you in every language and that's all she knows, but at least that's nice of her to try. She's okay. You know, she's not girly pop yet. We can't see her quite in black pink. We can't see her quite in girl groups, but she's there, she's having fun. She's really helpful in some teams and she's a good character to, to use. She's just nothing amazing. She's not shining. Next up, John Titer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John Titer. I mean, I have no choice. Mother. Mother. She's mother. John Titer. Tech queen. She shields. She does damage. She heals herself. She buffs herself. She shields the team. She quite literally protects the team while also dealing damage. If she wasn't a three star, she would be like top tier. So for that reason, and that reason alone, she's mother. Tell me otherwise. Next up, we have the twins, twin sleep. Um, look, similar reason, they're cute. She's cute, they're cute, but um, they're really useful. They are, you know what, actually, I'm fixing myself with this. They're okay. They're, they're okay. I could see like a little duo, like a little pop group duo with them, like rising stars type of thing. They're not there yet, but they're on the way. They could help your team. They could, they offer great support. They do a little bit of damage. They give you nightmares. Can you imagine? Twin sleep, a goth duo, like kind of like the Veronicas, but like little versions of them. Tell me that's not okay. And if it actually happened, they'd go up a little bit higher. Next up, we have Bet. Bet, I'm sorry, mother, mother. She's mothering. She's mother. She's she's on the set. She, <laughs> every time we got a mother, we got to bring out the fingers. She's on the set. She's in making sure that your movie is the best and the safest that it could be. So, hello, that's enough protection for anyone to scream mother. But she also, I mean, she buffs your team. She offers a shield to your damage dealer. She also does a little bit of damage herself and she offers some sustain to your team. She is a character that nurtures you. She takes care of you. She protecteth you. She mothereth you. Mother bet. Next up we have the DC. The DC in the house. Dali Clatter. Dali Clatter, honestly, I'm gonna say it. Dali Clatter. She's girly pop. She's girly pop. Dali Clatter is girly pop because you do that accent. You can't do it. But you do it, please, because I can't. Dolly Clatter is fun. <laughs> We're pulling out fingers. Um, Dolly Clatter is fun. He buffs your team. He's a pinky. He buffs your team. He will support your team. He'll offer a little bit of healing, uh, a little bit of penetration, right? And he's there to have fun. Have you seen his costume? The the free skin? She's a queen. Onion. Controversial opinion here, but I think Onion is not F tier. I like Onion. I think she's great. And I think Onion, despite all of that, girly pop. She's girly pop. Onion, even though, now this is gonna make me think that she's gonna be higher does damage she offers a little bit of like defend damage reduction for your team which is cool nice but everyone underestimates her she's the slept on queen performer for your team if you really heavily <laughs> invest into her she's great she will do decent amounts of damage and probably die very quickly but tell me that's not a pop star that has at least a one one hit single maybe an album maybe Maybe a, maybe a number one hit, and then Billboard Chart 100, then like album in the top 10, and then like her next single from the second album is like top 10, 
And then you never hear from her again, but she's still girly pop. She's still girly pop. She's there. Next up is Sputnik. One, two, three. Sputnik, I'm so sorry. Just not it. She's just not it. Sputnik's just not it. I'm sorry. And we're going to start to speed through this because some of these characters are not worth it. Miss Radio is, I mean, look, she's cute. She's cute. She, um, she's in the story quite a lot. <laughs> And um, sometimes there's a naughty little bitch, but um, she's okay. She's like, she's one of those two stars that are like somehow are rarer than most characters, but more niche uses. But I like that element of this game. I would like to see that element more, but that's not enough for me to say that she's any higher than just cute. Similarly, so I'm gonna say the exact same thing about Dor. Dor and her reflections can reflect on why she's just cute. Next up is Ezra. Now this one is really hard for me because I like I like Ezra from the worlds of worlds of Australia, um, and I'm gonna have to be honest. Even though I really love their playstyle and I like how they protect your team, I'm gonna have to say Ezra is giving just okay. Formidable team member, incredible buffing, great support highly recommend that you get this character but is she giving girly pop that's not girly pop energy no 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 she's giving folk she's giving goes into the woods bangs on some trees and like makes an acoustic album that's not girly pop that's not girly pop next up ulu um i'm gonna say it she's not it a fire child that should be an indigenous character but is not instead it's just this spirit um there's a whole whole video on the 1.5 storyline but um they could have done so much with this character but instead they flopped in every single way her characterization is just like okay cool um could have been better could have been more native more could have been more aboriginal could have been more authentic there's a rant there but um no you'll have to forgive there's um vacuuming going on in the background no and then she offers she's a burn support that doesn't even fucking burn support no no not it not it not it not in it desert flannel desert flannel i mean <laughs> she's girly pop she is girly pop she's not mother but she's girly pop. She's there. She'll fight you. She's the girl that you go out with. And when someone says something about you, she'll like get him in the head. She'll do that. She'll knock back twice as many drinks as you. And she'll take care of you. She'll take twice as much care of you as anyone else. She's not the mother. I just don't, I don't, can't explain it. She's just not giving mother energy, but she's giving girl girly pop and baby girl. That's enough for me. She is one of the best characters to come out of this game, and she's giving strong girly pop. Just, if she released an album, try and tell me that it's not going to be at least triple platinum. Next up, we have Flopathea. Now, I have Spathodea like P3, P, P2. She's cute. I don't enjoy her playstyle. I think her with Isolde is really fun. I love it when characters are just mindlessly strong and make the game easy. But I don't like her, don't. I don't like her personality and that's why she's just cute. She's an excellent character, but she's got a bit of a shit personality. And for that, she's gonna be held, that's gonna be held against her for the entirety of her life. She's cute and that's it. Getian. Now Getian, look, I'm gonna be, Getian is girly pop. Yes, girly pop. Getian is girly pop. <laughs> the more I say it, the more I'm convincing myself. But no, um, Getian is girly pop. Tell me this winged god descending down wouldn't put out an album that you would say, I'll listen to that. It'd be a bit weird, be a bit poppy, a bit experimental, but you'd turn it on and be like, yeah, that's fun. That's fine. I, I can drive to that. A bit weird, bit off, but also, you know, 
that he would be the type of person that's like at the pride parade supporting everyone just a really welcoming kind of person that's the vibe i get vibe i get marcus well next we have marcus controversial opinion i like marcus but i don't like enough she's okay i think she's a fun character in the story i think she's a very strong character in general um and she's well worth it for your account she's just not giving main pop girly energy and i can't explain i can't put my finger on it she is a fighter but she i just feel like if she was to make an album and she tried to sell it i just think she'd be not willing to go that extra mile to make it iconic i can't describe it and I would like for someone in the comment section to tell me how wrong I am and how she should be girly pop. But I just can't overcome that in my head. Next up is Mother Druvis. I mean, are we questioning anything here? Druvis is mother. And I'm not saying anything else. Lilia. Lilia is... Okay. She's okay. She's, look, a bit of an alcoholic. Good for her. Um, you do you. She's strong. She's fun to have in the story. I'm excited about when she has more sh more time to, time to shine in 2.1. But um, other than that, that's it. Don't blink. I love her accent. Love her accent. Whenever she says, don't blink. Actually, you know what? On that alone, she's girly pop because I would have an album. I'd have one of those like mix CDs, like a, like a, like a remix single, how like, this is showing my age, but like Lana Del Rey did that sad song called Summertime Sadness that flopped. And then a DJ got, got their hands on it and then remixed it and then made it like a, a summer, like a top 10 hit. I feel like she would do that with Don Blink. Tell me, tell me I'm not wrong. Next up, we have A Knight, and I'm gonna say this right now A Knight is mother. That's right. A Knight is mother. A Knight protecteth, they slayeth, they serveth. What else do you want from mother? They will, I mean, honestly, case closed. I don't think anyone will argue with me. He'll take care of us. <laughs> No, I'm putting myself, self-inserting to the story. He will take care of us and also have fun at the same time. Next up we have X. X is arguably the definition of girly pop. Tell me that X would not be on a global stage. Rude. On the global stage, part of like a boy band. And then he would be the one singer that breaks out makes his own album and then probably like years later um like a tell-all comes out about him saying how he accidentally on purpose murdered a bunch of people with his experimentations in the music lab and then we spent a couple of years kind of being like oh fuck, what did x do but then we come back around in about five more years after that when he releases um, a tell-all book about his side of the story and then we all go back on his side and then he makes an album based on how much he appreciates us and then we forget about it and then in like 20 years time whatever that version of netflix is he has like a making a murderer style documentary but instead it's like making a musician and it's his life story i mean that's girly pop to me and that's x next up we have sweetheart and i think you can all say it with me three two one mother she is the best beast character i said it i think she's the best beast character she's strong she's fierce she screams cartier tiffany the reason i got into this playing her to be honest was I saw um, someone do a play video of her and I was like, because originally I wrote her off as being like, oh, she's Marilyn Monroe. And then I realized she screams Cartier Tiffany. She's camp. Putting a character like that in a game that's about history and serious things, camp. Girly pop. 
she would release the album. She's giving Lady Gaga fame monster with how she presents herself. And then when she has her like Greek Isle like outfit, tell me she's not giving Lady Gaga Venus. She's girl, she's mother. She's more than curly pop. She's mothering. Next up we have the corn bloom. And you know what? She's okay. She is okay. She's very strong. She's very useful. She's an okay type of character. Her characterization doesn't stand out. I love the Silence of the Lambs-esque vibe, but I just don't get much else from her. And that's fine. It's okay to be okay. I'm sure if I was in this tier list, I would be okay. And that's where Bacorn Bloom is. Next up we have Dike. And um, I didn't finish Dike's anecdote, so I feel like this is biased. I didn't find it that interesting, but I'm gonna put her in okay. And I would like someone to tell me where does she really go? Because her energy is strong woman, and that energy alone makes me wanna scream mother, but I'm not going to because mother is held for a special place for special people based on educated decisions. I'm not gonna do that to Dickhead without having an educated decision. Next up is Balloon Party and she's just not it. That's it. I don't like her voice. <laughs> Regulus. Now, Regulus. I really love that the Regulus's voice actors in a, like getting a little bit more work now and that she's also one of the faces of the game. But for me, honestly, if we're gonna do British, we're gonna have to do it like Gemma Collins and do proper British. She's just okay for me, isn't it? I just think she's a lot of fun and she's nice to have in the game, but like, she just doesn't hit it for me. She's got to go the extra mile. Next up is Satsuki and I feel like Satsuki is, oh, I wanna put her in, Okay, but I just feel like she is girly pop. She is quintessential Japanese anime, like, like that, you know. She's probably gonna pour out an album and then she'll spend the rest of her life performing on the New Year's special for Japan. The vacuum cleaner is destroying me. I'm so sorry. Necrologist is I'm gonna have to. She's mother. She's mother. Necrologist is someone who would kill you, bring you back from the bed just to kill, bring you back from the bed, bring you back from the dead just to kill you again. Because she's just that bitch. She would protect you if you wanted someone, you know, that's, you know, back to life. She'd do it. She would take care of you. She would honestly, make sure that nothing goes wrong in your life. And you know what, when someone does die, she'd be the person to take care of you. And as someone who's lost a father and aunt very recently, and next that fucking vacuum cleaner, um, I just feel like she's mother. She just gives that mother vibe, goth mother. And we all want a goth mother, don't we? We just need that. Centurion. Centurion. Centurion is okay. She's fun to play. She's very strong. She's the definition of strong toast. She's pretty boring, but she's strong. Um, she's plain, she's simple, and um, she's a star. If they had Maxine from the Maxine X Pearl franchise as this character instead, But for Centurion, I just can't get past just the mediocrity of that character. Even though she's fucking fabulous. Next up is Mondlik. And you know what? Here's a controversial opinion. She is cute. I would say girly pop if, um, if I could see more, but whenever I see Mondlik, I see Catherine Hard Hardwick's version of Little Red Riding Hood with Amanda Seyfried. Here's a niche reference. I see Blue Filter. I see 
really pretty actress playing really dumb in a really shit movie. And that's Monlick, but with a bit of bite. And that's cute. And Anne Lee. And you know what, Anne Anne Lee, I would say, look, now here's the thing. I was going to put in a tier called Sister, where they just feel like not mother, they're not girly pop. They're not serving the album, they're not serving mother, they're serving sister. And for that reason, I don't know where to put Anne Anne Lee, because I don't think she's girly pop. I don't think she's mother. She's She wouldn't give a fuck about us if we were in trouble. So I'm going to have to say she's just okay. I feel like she could... She's a lot of fun. She's an incredible character. She's very strong. She's very useful. She buffs you very easily and she's an all-arounder. But I just don't get girly pop vibes from her. I just can't explain it and I'd love to hear why. I want to know what's mentally and physically and emotionally wrong with me to feel like she's not girly pop because everything about her and her aesthetic tells me it, but I just can't. She's just okay. She's right in the middle. And speaking of someone that's not Tenet, Tenet, tell me a game that has an open lesbian. Open lesbian, mother. She shields you. She debuffs the enemy. She does damage, a good amount of damage. She does good damage. And um, she's a lesbian. Do we have to say anything else? She is mother. She would fucking take you down if you needed to. And take you to... <laughs> take you down down I'll take you down next up baby blue I'm not getting it and I'm not it's just not it I just I cannot get my head around this character maybe because I don't like meek like type of characters not interested also Alice in Wonderland is not it's too direct of a reference because I like where, the, where this game pulls references from kind of niche things or from small things and random things brings it in. Just having Alice from Alice in Wonderland and calling her baby blue is just, it's not it. I just, next up is Eternity and she is the eternal vampire. That was my first six star character and she honestly is, she's mother. She is mother. When you look at her, come on this tangent with me. When you look at her and you see two 300 year, two, 300 year old vampire and you think, fuck bitch, where's your surgeon? And then she just says, I drink the blood. That's not how she talks, but that's just how she talks in my head. And then you realize, God damn it, you look good. And you are strong and you heal yourself. She self-sustains. She will protect the team members, but she won't heal them because she looks after herself first. And sometimes that's what a mother needs to do. Now, does the mother bird eat first and then give it to the baby birds? Yes. And that's what Eternity does when she eats and kills people and shares it with the children. I think no greater definition of mother. Next up is uh, Charlie and she is just not it. She's just not it. She is a character that in Japanese destroyed me for how she said, Hate it. For the same... <laughs> Cat's gone crazy. Uh, Miss New Babble is one of my favorite characters and I'm incredibly biased. Um, Miss New Babble is a shielder. She's the first like counter queen and remains to be one of the most versatile characters that is not the best or not the worst. She is a character that would create an album about 30 years ago and it would have had all of us at the club dancing and then she continues to make music that's not huge you know who she is she's Belinda Carlisle she's Belinda Carlisle references I'm old um where she just she had her time in the 80s and 90s and then now she's just continually doing a greatest hit world tour and that's Miss New Babble and you know what she's doing at the same point of time she's going around and she's 
gathering money from char- for charities. She's gathering people and fans and creating a safe space. She's healing the world through music, and that is Mother. Next up is Matilda, and honestly, girly pop. She's girly pop. She is girly pop. She is the French queen. She is honestly the Olympics just finished. Just finished. She would have been up there. She would have did running. She would have been all flooded, but she would have did it. She would have got in the river and she would have swam 15 kilometers. Got violently ill, but she would have done it. She would have got up there with the gun and did the. She would have lost. But she would have done it and you know why because she has an album to promote she has music coming out she will prove that she's the best by being the worst and serving the most fun brat girl summer ish album with a french twist she's billy pop sorry she's billy pop now i don't think it's fair to do horror media because of how much um we enjoy this character for other reasons, but I'm going to have to say Horopedia, personality wise, she's cute. She's not mother. I don't think Horopedia would look after us. Horopedia is too selfish. Horopedia is where you go for one night of fun and that's it. I said it. Next up, we have Medicine Pocket. And Medicine Pocket (laughs) is girly pop. Medicine Pocket would collab with X in their downtime when X is in there, you know, when the world hates them. And I feel like Medicine Pocket's collaboration with X would um, reinvigorate, be part of the reinvigoration of X's career. And also Medicine Pocket would also be like, And some death. Medicine Pocket. His music. Let's 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 listen to that music for a second. I'm hearing metal. I'm hearing Transformers soundtrack mixed with Charlie XCX like screeching car sound and electronic voice. I'm hearing one of my favorite YouTubers, Maylitz. I'm hearing May Leeds music and I'm loving every single second of it. It's alternative, it's quirky, it's punk, it's pop, it's fun, it's filth, and it's Medicine Pocket. T, T, T. And T, T, T is honestly, she is, she's okay. She's not girly pop, she's, not, she's just in there. I need to investigate her more. I like her design. I like her personality, but that's it for me. She's not done enough. (laughs) Next up is Click, and Click is a character that I really quite enjoy. I like playing as this character, but she's cute. That's it. I feel like Click would be too shy to really get what we need. Click died in war, Um, but you know what? When he was pointing up that camera to that bomb, as tragic as it is, we all said, click, no. He didn't listen. Next up is Poltergeist. And Poltergeist is ooky. She's spooky. She's on everyone's, like, Melanie Martinez pop girly pop. Girly pop playlist. Fight me. This has been 40 minutes of recording, and I'm gonna speed this up. Miss Morso, Miss Morso is okay. She teaches, she is not mother. She's not in the story enough to be mother. She's not strong enough to be mother. She doesn't give mother energy enough. She gives, I'm the teacher, and that's my role, energy. Next up is Mesma Junior. Miss Mesma, Mesma Junior. Miss Junior Mesma. And she is cute. That's it. Her family are scum, but she's trying to not be it. Um, And she has some kind of controversy in the story. But that's about it. 
Next up we have Tooth Fairy, and I'm gonna have to say this, Tooth Fairy is mother. She's mother. She heals, she does damage, she beat the living shit out of you, and she tries to protect people. Don't tell me she's not mother. She's the type of person that when you have a problem, you go to her, she'll fix it. Next up is Eric. <laughs> Don't know why I did that accent. Uh, Eric is okay. Love the story. <sighs> um, love the character, but she's not, she's too young. See how she's higher up? Age is really penalized in this game, I'm just realizing. Um, Eagle. She's okay. She's okay. She, same reasons as, as, um, as, as Eric. Same reason as Eric. Uh, we have Dima. Dima? Zima. Dima. Mia Dima. Island. Island in Japanese. Um, Honestly, girly pop. Now, Zima would come out. Hear me, hear me out. Zima would come out with alternative folk pop album. He would get nominated. He wouldn't chart, would not chart, but it would go viral online. And it would be like a type of album. And it would be nominated for every fucking Grammy every award possible like bear baby bear whatever that singer was from like 10 years ago and he'd get every nomination everyone would say love that music and then they never listen to his music except for a few niche fans where he plays in festivals where they're all off their mind that's zima and that's girly pop baby girl that's that's girly pop next up we have bunny 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 is Honestly, if you want to get, I can't do the accent. She's mother. She's mother. Is she the first four star? She's the first four star mother. And she might be the last. She's a beauty queen. She's a pageant queen. We love pageant queens. She will serve you. She'll obey, but she'll also be like, you don't take advantage of me. You don't fuck with me. You don't mess with my girls. She's very mother. She's the type of girl where she works in the bar, in the diner, during the day, and she goes to the strip club afterwards, and she's the mother to the girls. Do you understand what I mean? She will take care of them. You mess with her, I fucking kill you. That type of energy. That's, <laughs> baby girl, that's mother. Uh, next up, we have Melania. And Melania is, I mean, look, honestly, she, some people might say mother. I'm gonna say she's cute and she knows exactly what she's done. I forgot who the I forgot what the thumbnail was for. It's Diggers. And you know what? Because I couldn't fucking remember the thumbnail for him, even though I like him, she's just You know what? She's cute and that's it. I think he's got some interesting play styles. His personality was like a cheese grater to my face in the game, um, but I like his uh, the skin and the design of that. And that reason alone, she's cute, that's it. Next up we have Apple, and as much as I like to want to like Apple, it's not it for me. I thought the idea of an Apple with a bow tie was cute. Him with the Afro was problematic, but yet also somehow adorable. I like that he is a four star healer that's accessible to everyone. I just don't like him. And that's incredibly rude and biased. Next up is Cristalo, and Cristalo is mother. Don't even fight me on it. Next up is Oliver Fogg, and Oliver Fogg is giving me okay. Oliver Fogg is giving me X light. Oliver Fogg is giving me, he'll try, he'll probably fail. He'll have an album that goes like bubbling, bubbling under 100. Um, he'll release like a couple of like wannabe TikTok videos. He's giving, I'll look after you, my lord, but he won't do it that well. And that's why he's just okay. There's still some work to be done. Uh, next up is Rabies. And Rabies is honestly, she's girly pop. She would be the type of person that serves country music album that is just meow, meow, like to sounds, 
to the sound of guitar. And somehow people at first would be like, wouldn't get it. The first album, pe people would not get it. Second album, the niche fans from the first would tell everyone about how good he is. And then that second album would blow up. And the next thing you're gonna start seeing rabies nightclub nights where everyone's dressing with straw and they're all trying to communicate with each other with these animalistic sounds. And at the same time, rabies has a story and a heart. He died, even though he's not spirit. <laughs> and um, it's just really cute. He tried to protect his wife. Next up is Six and um, Six is coming up on a banner. I'm not pulling for him. And to be honest, Six for me is just not it. I feel like Six has a lot to work, a lot of work to do in his personal life, a lot of work to do in his emotional life. I don't like angry prick characters and characters that sit there and do nothing. We don't want a starfish, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is Jessica, and I'm here to tell you that she is mothering the mothers. She's the type of psychopathic mother that you want. She's the type of mother where if you wanted to do something, you ask her, she'll take care of you. She'll kill them. Someone fucks with you, dead. Someone breathes in the wrong direction. She'll get her minions, her army, drag you to the bottom of the lake and you'll never, never see that person again. She'll take care of you, but at the same time, she has the heart and the logic to be like, wait a second, what I'm doing is wrong, but I'm still gonna do it because I'm a mother and I'm gonna take care of you. Tell me I'm wrong. Next up is Blonnie, and I think we're all here for Blonnie, and we're just waiting. We're waiting the second for girly pop Blonnie to release her album. Drop the album, sis. Where is it? We need, that was one of the most fucking cringy things I've ever said as a 32 year old man. We need Blonnie to have a pop career. We need her to have, do you know what I see Blonnie as? I see her as originally musical theater nerd, kind of like, um, who was the new Regina George in Mean Girls? And she was from Broadway. She gives that energy where she then transitions from dorkier thing like Broadway into mainstream pop and then just becomes like the Dua Lipa, but blonde and with talent and with original music and a likable personality. Uh, next up is Carla Borna and Carla Borna is, I mean, easy to say it. She's mother, she's mother. She will look up, I mean, look, we're, we're at the 49 minute mark. She's mother and you know exactly why. Next up is Pavia and Pavia is honestly, Pavia is okay. Pavia is not doing too much. It's not doing too little. Next up, we're getting up to Isolde. And um, Isolde is honestly, she's mother for the same reason that uh, Tooth Fairy is. She would slit that person's throat for you she's a psychopath she's released the albums she's passed touring she has a residency at vegas where she gets on the stage and part of her performance is a sacrifice part of her performance is that part of the theater lights on fire part of the part of the performance is she just gets on stage and she screams We've got Kanjira, and Kanjira is cute. That's it. Similar reasons to the other characters. She's young, she's underdressed, which is not okay. And um, she's helpful in teams, but that's it. She's not giving much else. She needs more development. I wanna see some more from her. Next up, we're getting Pickles, and Pickles is truly girly pop. Pickles is the type of singer that... <laughs> Pickles buffs your team, he does really decent damage. And also he's the character that's there to just give you energy. He's the Ricky Martin of dog music. Shimane and Shimane is okay. Really, this is a battle between mother girly pop and okay to see who can be the best, who can have the most. And Shimane's helping the okays because Shimane is the definition of toast. He's boring, he's okay, he's nothing too amazing. That's it. He is an interesting character to look at, but that's about it. We've got Yenise, 
And Yenisei is okay. Yenisei is a character that is an excellent healer. She she has the sustain of mother, but she doesn't have the likability of mother. We've got to be realistic here. Mothers are not just given lightly. You're going to look at me in the face and tell me that Druvis is on the same level as Yenisei? You're going to look at me at the face and say that Bet is on the same level as Yenisei? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yenisei is okay, and that's fine for her. Next up is Giyu, and Giyu is not it. She's not it, and I know that that's controversial, but also people don't like me because I don't like the character. I don't like alcoholism being made to be cute, and I think that is not okay. It's not it. Next up is Sotheby, who would be girly pop because she is Taylor Swift incarnate in a British body. Oh, like on house talks. And also I have P5 of her, so I mean, honestly, she's got me by the fucking throat. She's girly pop to the core. We have 37, and 37 is honestly, she's girly pop. She's the girl that goes to the island once and makes a pop album. She's Carly Bubbles. What is it called? Some, some, she's Bubbles. That bubbly. That, that, that song. She's that song. She goes to write an album and she spends the rest of her career making niche pop songs and writing for other people. And our last girly to the entrance is Voyager. And for Voyager, let's be realistic. Voyager is cute and that's it. I have wanted to like Voyager for so long and I know that people love her personality, whatever that is, and that she's an alien and love how she's styled. I just can't get on board with it. And that's it. This is my mother tier list. I had an excruciating amount of fun making this and I have missed doing things like this. I've been away with family, I've been away with personal things, and I'm coming back with probably a biblically long video for you. If you've watched this one all the way through to the end, let me know and let me know what you wanna see next. We've got 1.8 around the corner, we've got Villa, we've got some excellent characters, we've got August who I'm really excited about, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more dumb shit like this, let me know. And that's it. If you have an issue with any of my mothers, my girly pops, or anything else, comment. 